Over the past six decades, Egypt's role in the Middle East has undergone significant transformations. Initially, under the leadership of Gamal Abdel Nasser in the late 1950s, Egypt was a formidable force in the Arab world, leading the pan-Arab movement and engaging in conflicts with Israel. This period marked Egypt as a central player in regional politics and conflicts. Egypt's influence in the Middle East has historically been bolstered by its diplomatic activism, military might, and its role as a mediator in key regional issues. Its involvement in critical events, such as Operation Desert Storm in 1991, highlighted its significance in maintaining the regional status quo. The United States, recognizing Egypt's pivotal role, often sought its counsel, particularly in matters like the Palestinian-Israeli peace process. The early 2000s marked the beginning of a shift in Egypt's regional influence. Growing political discontent, fueled by human rights concerns and economic challenges, began to erode its position as a leading Arab nation. The Arab Spring in 2011 further accelerated this decline, raising questions about Egypt's ability to maintain its role as a stabilizing force in the region. Today, Egypt's regional influence is perceived to be on a downward trajectory. Domestically, the country grapples with significant challenges, including a struggling economy and internal security concerns. These issues have redirected its focus inward, creating a vacuum in its traditional leadership role in the Arab world. Historically, Egypt's stature in the region stemmed from its large population, strategic location, and cultural influence. Under Nasser, Egypt played a key role in anti-colonial movements and aligned closely with the Soviet Union, enhancing its military and economic power. Anwar Sadat, Nasser's successor, reoriented Egypt towards the West, signing a peace treaty with Israel and securing substantial U.S. military aid. The Mubarak era, beginning in 1981, was a period of relative stability, where Egypt solidified its role as a key mediator in regional conflicts. However, economic and political stagnation towards the end of Mubarak's tenure set the stage for the regime's collapse during the Arab Spring. The brief period of democratic openness under the Muslim Brotherhood was quickly reversed, leading to the current era under President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Egypt's current period is marked by economic difficulties, reliance on external financial assistance, and a focus on internal security threats, notably from the Islamic State and its affiliates. This inward focus has limited Egypt's ability to inspire or lead in the region, affecting both its self-perception and its neighbors' views of its role. In terms of foreign policy, Egypt has adopted a more defensive stance, concentrating on immediate security threats, primarily from Islamist extremism. Its regional efforts are mainly focused on neighboring countries, with significant involvement in Libya and cautious relations with Sudan and Ethiopia over Nile water rights. Egypt's relations with the Hamas government in Gaza have also seen fluctuations. While earlier tensions were high due to security concerns, recent efforts towards reconciliation have shown signs of improvement. However, these relations remain complex and contingent on various political demands and conditions. As Egypt's influence has waned, other regional powers like Saudi Arabia and the UAE have attempted to fill the gap. These countries have increasingly taken on leadership roles, particularly in the fight against Islamist extremism and in counterbalancing Iran's regional ambitions. Egypt's role has become more of a proxy to these Gulf nations, relying heavily on their financial support since the 2013 coup. The relationship between Egypt and the United States has also evolved. Tensions arose during the Obama administration over human rights issues and the 2013 coup. The Trump administration initially warmed to President Sisi but later imposed restrictions on military aid due to ongoing human rights concerns and Egypt's military ties with North Korea. This shift reflects a change in Egypt's strategic importance to the US, particularly as American military involvement in the Middle East has decreased. Egypt's strategic realignment in recent years, especially under President Sisi, reflects a response to changing global and regional dynamics. Cairo has increasingly engaged with Turkey, Qatar, and Iran, a shift driven by its domestic challenges and unfulfilled foreign policy objectives. This realignment aims to address multiple domestic and regional goals, including economic recovery and diplomatic influence. A key aspect of Egypt's strategy is addressing its financial crisis, characterized by inflation, foreign debt, and currency shortages. This economic turmoil has led to social discontent, prompting Egypt to seek new sources of foreign currency and investment, as traditional allies like Saudi Arabia and the UAE have been reluctant to provide further financial assistance without structural reforms in Egypt. Egypt's ambition to become a natural gas hub in the Mediterranean represents a significant political and economic objective. This plan involves boosting LNG exports to Europe and leveraging its gas infrastructure, which also requires cooperation with regional players like Turkey. 
Such moves aim to enhance Egypt's political and economic significance, especially in the context of Europe's energy needs. Politically, Egypt's realignment has implications for regional stability, particularly in Libya. Egypt has historically supported different factions in Libya compared to Turkey and Qatar. The recent shift in relations aims to bring stability to Egypt's western border and reflects a broader strategy of diplomatic engagement over military involvement in regional conflicts. Egypt's realignment also extends to the Horn of Africa, a region of strategic importance due to its proximity to the Red Sea and the Nile River. Improved relations with Turkey and Iran could help Egypt navigate the complex geopolitics of the region, including the contentious issue of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, which poses a significant threat to Egypt's water security. Enhancing its strategic significance to the West is another goal of Egypt's realignment. This involves strengthening ties with the United States amidst changing geopolitical landscapes, such as the emergence of the Abraham Accords, which have redefined regional alliances. Egypt recognizes the need to maintain its relevance in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and sees its relationships with Turkey, Qatar, and Iran as pivotal in this context. Egypt's approach to global diplomacy also includes a calculated rapprochement with Iran, aligning with a broader strategy of diversifying its international alliances. This shift is seen as a way to gain leverage in its relationship with the US, while reducing global reliance on the US dollar and expanding its economic options through associations like BRICS. In conclusion, Egypt's evolving role in the Middle East reflects a complex interplay of internal dynamics, regional politics, and global shifts. While facing numerous challenges, Egypt's strategic realignment offers potential pathways for renewed influence and stability in the region. Thank you for watching this detailed exploration of Egypt's role in the Middle East. If you found this information valuable, please like and subscribe for more insightful content.